Go down. Uh, it's uh, points. Yeah, points. There you go. But yeah, I've got to do this one. I put a marker down so that I know exactly when to uh, do the vault. But uh, yeah, let's do this Sebastian one because I think it could be could be where the uh, infamous throw is. So let's let's wait. Could be a nighttime quest. I have like an hour to do this, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. Well, might pique your interest. Of course, Sebastian. Of course, it did. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Um, we need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If mm. there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. My character or myself, Clem? <laughs> there they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Character, okay. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Randolph's loyalists are out for the Dracus Titanus. Yeah, I tried to do stealth, but uh, oops. <laughs> Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's keep going to the mine. Going well. Of course it is. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I choose. Be quiet. Yeah, which one's that? Just go all in. Wait, it didn't fully... Oh my god. That's unbelievable. Yes, I did just kill that one just from... Uh, pushing him down. My spell's going through there. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even see you back there. Is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. You're boiling, but it's getting cold. <laughs> My uh, furniture is finally shipped. Should get notes from the shipment company in a few days' time. Wait, you, the stuff that you had at the last place that you were, or is this new furniture? And let's enter the Overlook Mine. Or did it... Oh my god. Do you not get like a bit of a refund? Wait, let's uh... Better or for worse, we're in. Let's get in here and... Get a double kill of them. 
It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Yeah, this place is not exactly safe. <laughs> Health and safety would be a. Uh, oof. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Alright, there we go. Whee! Someone's here. I'm not. No one's here. No, that's a lie. You don't see me. There you go, there's a chest down below. Whether or not that's... Like, it actually could be that this place counts towards the Hogsmeade because that's when you start the quest, you're in Hogsmeade. So I wonder... Right, let's quickly look at the map. I lie, let's not look at the map. It's not available. <laughs> the game was like, nope, you shall not do that. <laughs> Don't even try it. Beanbag chair, I am jealous. You shall, oh, climb, please. <laughs> Jump. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous rebellion, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Sebastian, that is such a mood. <laughs> All of the above. All of the above. Ah, comfort more than anything, isn't it? <laughs> Smashing. I can't believe my character just said smashing. I, that's that's such a dad joke, man. <laughs> Such a dad joke. Like, that is <laughs> awful. Rebellion. Well, I'm really jealous that you're going to beanbag, and I'm pretty sure Steph is too. <laughs> Like, that is mood. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get out of the water. Jump up here. Use the wrong spell. It's fine. I do that every single time. Right, up and over the bridge we go. What is it? An infamous foe? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Get squished. Yes, I literally just one hit that spider with ancient magic. Again, I think I, I said it in um, VC earlier. I will be playing this game four times around. The first two playthroughs, I'll definitely be um. She would at that. 
definitely be streaming it. Um, but the third and fourth one, I'm going to make it a uh, YouTube content. Obviously, this is going on YouTube as well as like a YouTube VOD. Um, my second playthrough won't be going up as a VOD, I don't think. Because that's... Or maybe I do. Maybe I make it a... Um, more of a highlight thing. Uh, of what happens if you play the game as an evil character. Um, and then the third and fourth playthroughs will be... One, hard mode, and two, no ancient magic. And I think that's a challenge for that. I think a lot of people would like to see. Because ancient magic makes this game so easy. Like, you do so much damage. It's insane. <laughs> like, without it, I'll, I'll probably struggle. To be fair. Oh, that's a lot of loyalists. Let's keep going. We've still not seen a single room to the north. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome. We have another fight on our hands. Fight. Weak human? I am not a. Actually. I am a human, aren't I? However, I'm gonna do this to him. Boom! I will answer that question. Thanks, Glenn. I really need to, um. See, look how much that does a lot of damage around. Like, I need to perfect that. I honestly just take the hits. Like, I dodge it instead of, um, Firing it. Oh, spiders go away again. I should probably heal. Lost a little bit of health from. Okay, that one's done. Do quite a bit of damage, nice. I forgot about them coming from underground. Pretty hard now, though. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a raven claw, you certainly have a lot to learn. A rune symbol above the cavern. See, even my character thinks Slytherin are bad. Oh my god, it's like a dream. It's like this character is actually me, and it's been listening. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. The character and I share the same views. Slytherin is evil. <laughs> 
No, I want to destroy this. Because I might need it in a second. Be surprised to find a couple more room symbols. Hit that one, hit that one, and hit that one. That should open the door. Expecting that. Yeah, literally, hiss. You're a snake. And snakes are evil. Rebellion. Is it Dora's journal? Three of seven. The world floats back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes. Empty. Empty of sorrow. Yes, but also. I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish. But then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. Neither for feel nor see a mark. But the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of Rebellion. This yeah, hopefully. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Yeah, I think next week is going to be also really cold for us. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Mm -hmm. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless... We can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. I think I just saw it, yeah. I was going to say, I saw this before we even uh, went over there. Back to the Undercroft I go, and then uh, basically just fast traveled. It has to fit. Let's see, does it fit? Because then we're, we're only missing the big one in the middle. ...in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Oh, great. Hey, Sammy, how's it going? How's your stream? I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind, Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, not wrong. Goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Jesus. Like, I get it be mad for like just because one person's been like one goblin's done something that does not mean all of them are as bad same case Rebellion. same case in the real world you know just because someone's done something to you doesn't mean everyone is as bad as them <laughs> 